Hello, healers, starseeds, chosen ones. How are you all doing? Hope you all are enjoying your day or night, wherever you are on this lovely, beautiful Sunday. I am doing the same. I have another message for us. So let me go ahead and invite our spirit team and we'll get started. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now. Emmanuel, God with us. Yahweh Elohim, we welcome your presence, El Shaddai. Ancestors of the pure and divine white light and our spirit guides, we welcome you as well. Come and commune with us, impart your wisdom and knowledge upon us. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, keeping us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, covering us with your blood, letting no evil come near us in our dwelling, giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your kindness, your amazing grace, your unconditional love. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you brought us through and to. We thank you that your promises are true and you keep your promises. We thank you for providing for us. We thank you for healing us in every area of our lives. We love you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We thank you for loving us. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this message to your children. Tell us what we need to know. Show us what we need to see and be aware of in this season. We love you, Lord. We honor you. We reverence you. We exalt your holy name. You are worthy to be praised and worshipped. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I truly appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you for your love and your support and your kindness. If you are new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. We're so glad to have you here. And if you are returning, welcome, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right, star seeds, let us get into the message. Thank you, Lord. I feel your presence very, very strong. Thank you, Lord. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. <clears throat> God know who he's trying to reach. I don't. I'm just here being obedient and giving us the messages. Um, so let us get into the message. Um, I didn't get on and post yesterday because I was um, enjoying some celebrations. And um, so, yes, I am back here today, but I was getting a lot of downloads yesterday. A lot was going on. Um, but I was praying for you all <clears throat> as well. All right. <clears throat> so there is um, a group of people here who have been stalking and watching you all, have been in competition with you all, wanting to um, control your life, control your destiny. Um, pretty much playing like they're a God. These people have a God complex. And they were trying to make you their victim and control your life. Speaking negative on your name, on your legacy, on your foundation, over your purpose and your calling. Doing the most, doing too much. Operating in full-blown devil energy and in their ego, in their pride, in their arrogance and stubborn, and stubbornness. So these people have realized, um, so they were coming at you with everything, all of their little tricks in their bags, um, coming at you with everything and was not able to knock you down you're still standing and so then they went on to try to uh, scheme with your loved ones um, people close in your family and try to bribe them to um, give them some information about you to let them know your your location your address or whatever where you was going to be at a certain time because all of their spell work, black magic and voodoo didn't work. And so they had to go to 
other extremes and measures by trying to bribe your family members uh, for money. And some of them took the bait and some of them didn't. But God lets you know, because he always lets us know things ahead of time before they happen. And everybody who is plotting and scheming on us in the background that we know nothing about. So he always lets us know if you're tapped in, if you're a starseed chosen one, if you have a relationship with God and also your ancestors, they will let you know because they're always watching. For some for some some crazy reason, people don't think what they're doing is being watched. Eyes are always watching. God is omnipotent. He's omnipresent. And they're always watching. He's always watching over his children. And so he will get you a message. Either he'll let you know through your spiritual gifts or he'll give somebody else the message to give to you. But he'll let you know. So um, there are some people who are realizing on today that their plan did not work, that um, you were too tapped in, your intuition was on point, and you did not follow through with what they thought you were going to follow through with. And they were not able to unalive you. Um, These people that they bribed, your family members, people are close to you, people who know you, who know things about you, the people that they bribed for money to give you up, to set you up, to sell you out. They're realizing that they cannot unalive you. They cannot harm you. They cannot take anything from you. And so they were um, trying to win at all costs. Whoever this person is or these people are, they did not want you to come into union with a specific person to join forces to make an impact in this world to be a a power couple with this person they were trying to stop everything that was due to come to you so it could look like that they were telling the truth about you about all the lies that they told about you all the slander the gossip defaming your character And trying to turn you into this evil person, which they are the wolves in sheep's clothing. And so God is wanting you all to know what is written, it shall be. What what is, it's already been, and what will be, has been before. And that's in Ecclesiastics, I think it's three and one, but I'll look it up and put it in the description box for you all. So they thought they were delaying you or stopping you or whatever. But you're going to receive everything that is due to you, your birthright blessings and your divine inheritance in due season, in God's divine timing. So God knows your end from the beginning. He's an alpha and omega and everything in between. And he knows everything that's going to happen and is happening. So what is has already been and what will be has been before. So these people were unsuccessful in holding on to your energy, holding on to your blessings, holding on to your inheritance. They thought they could just hold on to it with their life, like they had the power to change something in your life. And that is not the case. They were trying to keep you stuck in the past, in your mindset, so that you would be stuck because your mind determines where you go and how far you go. That's why the word says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. But because their minds were not renewed or their soul was not transformed, they thought that they could keep you stuck as well. But that was not the case. 
you are still moving forwards in victory and success just as God has written it for you. And the will of fortune have changed. Their fortune has changed with all of these tactics and evil acts and actions that they have done towards you on this journey. And they are the ones who are not moving forward. So they were trying to make you into a victim. But now they see that they have made a huge, major life mistake. They are about to be in a crisis in their life. Um, they thought that they can hold on to you, cling on to your energy to hold you back, to set you back by obsessing over you and spying on you and watching you. But they're finding out today that you are not a victim. They have made themselves into the victim by trying to make you their victim. And now they have a long journey of karma that they have to deal with. Everybody who participated in trying to stop and block and delay something in your life. No matter who they are to you, no matter if they're your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your auntie, your co-worker, your boss, whoever played a part and took bribes in the situation concerning you has a long journey of karma that they have to deal with. They are under heavy judgment at this time. And so this person who gathered up all of these groups of people to fight against you, to come against you, trying to keep you out of your promised land, trying to keep you out of a divine union and your birthright blessings and a inheritance. This person has been found out. They have been exposed. And they are very, very moody on today. And overly emotional, blaming others. Because they're experiencing a lot of imbalances in their lives right now because they have been found out. And people are seeing that this person was has a personality disorder and also these groups of people that they recruited to come against you in this way this person has a neuro neurological disorder their their um, crown chakra is not balanced at all it is very very out of balance And so now they're dealing with fear and isolation that they were trying to put you in. They're disconnected from the spirit of God because they were a wolf in sheep clothing, acting like they love God to save face, wearing a facade for other people. But in the background, they were meditating malice in their hearts concerning you and acting on it secretly, but pretending to be somebody else in the face of men. And this person is realizing now that they are hitting rock bottom. They are about to be in poverty. Everything that they wanted to happen to you has shifted and happening to them. They are their own victim. They calculated their own demise. And this person thought they was very, very clever and intelligent. 
And they're losing all of their partnerships at this time because they have been exposed. And this could be going on all of this week. If this person was in a marriage, they're losing this partnership. If they were a business partner with somebody, they're losing this partnership, friendships, family, because people are seeing that they were a wolf in sheep clothing, but they were pretending to be something, something and somebody else. This person was resilient. They did not want to give up doing all of the stuff that they were doing to you in the background, but they have been defeated. They've defeated themselves trying to defeat you. They did all of these things towards you, not knowing or not fully understanding the universal laws. Do unto others as you want done unto you. This is what they want wanted done unto you. So now the tables have turned and the script has been flipped and it's happening to them. Whatever you sow, you shall reap it. All of these seeds that they sown towards you, now this is their harvest. And they have been defeated. This person was a two-faced manipulator, wearing masks, masking themselves for people. But in their secret place, in their hiding place, in their heart chakra, they were a whole demon behind their mask. When it came to you, this person was in competition with you. They were just hell bent on ruining and destroying your life. But this person has failed from grace on today and they are very shamed and weak and feel weak and feel helpless because everybody is seeing them for exactly who they are. Seeing all the actions that they took, all the seeds that they sowed. Because they didn't want you to have the purpose that you have. They didn't want you to be favored by God. They didn't want you to receive your birthright blessings and your divine inheritance for being obedient to your God. And this person is in deep regret and sorrow at this time because they have fell from grace. They have fell off their high horse that they thought they were riding when it came to you. And now they're in poverty. And poverty don't always mean money or material things. You could be poor in spirit. And this person was definitely poor in spirit with all of these tactics and all of these hate actions that they were projecting towards you in secret. Trying to receive something, trying to receive your blessings, trying to receive what's written for you in the Lamb's Book of Life. Trying to receive what was written for you in your Akashic records. And this wasn't just karmic energies of a divine masculine or a divine feminine. These were your family members as well. And your divine partner's family members as well. Because they didn't want you to be the chosen one or want this person to be the chosen one. But it is what it is. And so they have to let go because they cannot stop and block you. They can't delay you. Everything that is happening for you and manifesting for you is in divine timing. So they thought they were delaying you. But our God already had a set date for everything that he was giving you. But he knew the devil was going to try to get in the details and show his ugly face. 
but they cannot outsmart arts outsmart God. So this person has to let go trying to cause imbalances in your life. They have to let go of their stubbornness. Being a people pleaser, being controlling and very shallow. Because they have been blocked. They were trying to block you from your promise, block you from out of the promised land, block you from your blessings from your love, everything that comes with you, being a chosen one and operating in your per in your purpose, they have been blocked from trying to delay you. They have wasted their time and talents for instant gratification, to be seen by men. That is their reward doing things for show. And so this is what has them in this codependent energy, jealousy and grief and cold towards you. Heart chakra is just closed and out of balance. being very destructive towards you with all of these addictions and obsessions, operating in their shadow self, unhealthy ego, operating in greed, trying to steal something from somebody without doing the work, cutting corners, being very selfish, envious, prideful, impulsive, Craving control and power over people being very, very negative. And also they was doing black magic as well. Wishing in, ill intentions. Envying you. Sending you the evil eye. Being very bitter towards you. Casting spells. Being a hater. Being very jealous of you. Wishing harm on you. Watching you and stalking you. Because your light ears hate their demons. And the signs um, that could be involved in this is a Pisces and a Gemini. And a Libra. You could be these signs or somebody who was involved in this situation with these karmics and groups and all of these bribes could be a Libra, Gemini, or a Pisces. So this person has, um, I guess they didn't know that the FBI was watching them for all the things that they were doing to you in the background and some other things that they were connected to as well that was illegal activities. And this person was trying to get away, trying to pack their bags and move and drive away, but they were caught by the FBI. So their fortune has instantly changed. And they did not wanna stop, they did not wanna let go they let their their obsessions and their addictions concerning you overtake them. If they had heed to wise wise counsel and warnings to leave you alone, they probably wouldn't have got caught up. But they were just hell bent on seeing their de desire for you materialize and manifest. A lot of you, they wanted you unalive. They wanted you gone out of here. They wanted you to be in poverty. They wanted you to be begging for help. They wanted you to be sick. In fear, in worry, in doubt. But they were unsuccessful at this and they're having to repeat another karmic cycle because they didn't learn the lesson. 
they didn't understand their assignments in this cycle and their assignment was not to be bothering you it was to be working on their own self doing their own inner work and healing from their past trauma they spent their time money and energy trying to ruin and destroy your life when they should have been trying to heal and build a firm foundation for their own life So they did not get their wish fulfillment when it came to you because they ab abused their power overindulging in unhealthy habits and activities, hunting you like you were a some type of animal, hunting you like you're prey, like their survival depended on you, strategizing and pursuing you in all of these evil manners, aiming at you, targeting you, focusing on you. Because you're happy and you love yourself and you're celebrating. Like they say, misery loves company. They don't want you to be happy because they're not happy. They don't want you to love yourself because you don't because they don't love themselves. Crabs in a bucket want you to be in the same boat with them, the same sinking ship with them. So, yes, this person is going to jail on today or this week. It is going down. You were heavily protected in this situation from this group of people who grouped and gamed up together to try to get money from you. Trying to destroy your happiness, trying to destroy your love life. Didn't want you to have life and life more abundantly. They have to let go of your energy. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed, and you are free. And you're about to be very happy, happier than you've ever been before in your life. They could not stop these marriages that are come to, coming to you, these divine masculines and divine feminines. They could not stop it. They could not cause any endings in your life with all of these betrayals that they were strategizing and carrying out concerning you. Like I said, some of them, they wanted you to be gone. They wanted to delete you from this earth realm, but they could not cause any endings in your life, any endings in your love life, your money, your business, and if they did cause endings to your, your money, you're going to get all that back. You're going to get double for your trouble. Some of you are all getting triple for your trouble. And they was keeping all of these secrets. This was all about money. Trying to get ahead. Doing anything for money not thinking how it would affect them in the long run or the people who are connected to them, their children, their mother, their father, sisters and brothers, cousins, were just out for selfish gain, only thinking about themselves, keeping all these secrets. But all the cats are all the, out the bag now. All these copycats are coming out the bag. Because you wasn't hiding anything. You didn't have any true colors for anybody to come out and see. You wasn't hiding anything. You didn't have any secrets. You weren't hovering evil and hate in your heart towards nobody. You wanted to see everybody happy and blessed. When people get got blessed, when you hadn't got blessed yet, you was happy for them. 
you're not in competition with anybody. Nobody has your assignment. They can't have what's yours and you don't want what's theirs. And so now they feel guilty and ashamed, embarrassed because they were in the wrong about you. And there's a divine masculine or a divine feminine who wish on today that they would have listened to you. You gave them a prophecy. You told them what God told you to tell them concerning this Jezebel that they was dealing with. And this could be a male or a female. Jezebel spirit energy they wish they would have listened to you because everything that you told them has come to pass on today and they find themselves caught up in some situations where a lot of them going to prison and jail and they was listening to people who they thought were wise who they thought was an elder who had wisdom and ancient knowledge. But now they're finding out that these people were just plotting against them the whole time to make them forfeit their destiny, their birthright blessings, their inheritance, their love, their emotional fulfillment and security. They're seeing that these people didn't have any wisdom at all they were not connected to God at all. They were wolf, wolves in sheep clothing, pretending to be, act like they love God and was trying to help people. And somebody done got a diagnosis as well. They had to go to the doctor behind the situation and they they're realizing they, they wish they would have listened to you when it came to this Jezebel spirit person. And some of them got a long journey of stuff they got to deal with concerning their health. Warning always comes before destruction. God said he warns those he loves. And when you stubbornly disobey him and turn a blind eye to what he's trying to tell you or show you about somebody or something, then that comes upon you for being disobedient, for not getting on a different path and going in a different direction. Trust in people over God. I won't ever be doing that again. I will follow my intuition. Whatever God tell me, I will follow that. Whatever he tells me with a person, about a person, that's them. That's what they doing. No matter what they covering up and showing, having a facade on, God know the real them because he looks at the heart of everybody. And so they have gotten caught up. Somebody done got caught up by the FBI and they going to jail and prison. I guess they didn't know stalking and harassing people was a crime. And so guess what, Star Seeds? You all are still having this new beginning. You're still getting everything God promised you in due season. It is your harvest time. Everything written for you, you are receiving it on time because he's an on time God. And this has a lot of people who were coming against you, who were your enemy, who is your secret enemy. People who you thought were close to you and would never betray you in this way, who would never sell you out or try to set you up for um, any amount of money for you to be harmed and so that they can be on the on the come up now off of your off of you being hurt and harmed yeah 
Yeah, they bitter and angry on today. That they was confused about who you are, about God not playing about you. And you are receiving this because you are resilient. You are steadfast and unmovable. You did not let fear stop you. You did not let all of these scarcity tactics they were using stop you. You did not let all of this black magic they were doing on you stop you. And they love doing black magic on chosen ones for some reason. They love trying to sacrifice us. But you stood, you stood ten toes down and firm, planted in the word of God, steadfast and unmovable, abiding in the word of God, living in his word, because you are the walking, living word of God. You are people's karma and judgment as well. How they treat you that determines their future. And everything that was hidden and being done in the dark behind the scenes towards you has been enlightened on today, this week. Everybody see it. There's no more confusion. Illusions. They all have been broken. Everybody sees what has been going on. Some of you all for up to five years or more. And you couldn't tell anybody because these people would have turned against you as well. But you kept it to yourself and you went to God about it. And he let you know that you was heavily protected and divinely guided. That you had a whole host of angels, archangels, guardian angels. Angels of the Lord, warring angels ancestors of the pure and divine white light backing you walking with you alongside you every day every second of the day every step you take they taking one with you these people thought you was alone but they couldn't see in the spirit realm that you had a whole host of protection and this is what why they hate you is because you're very very protected and divinely guided because you have a purpose you're chosen in this world to set the captives free and bring hope to people who are hopeless in this season, in this time. And no devil in hell can stop you. God says when the enemy comes in like a flood, he will raise up a standard against him. Meaning he will make him back off. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Revelations 4, 11. I'm sorry, Revelations 12 and 11. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony. So what are you speaking out of your mouth? I don't care what your enemies are speaking. What are you prophesying out of your mouth over your life, over your children, over the people who do love you? You have the power and authority because you have transformed and God chose you. He saw your heart from the beginning. He chose you because he knew that you would not abuse your power and authority. And so that's why he has been teaching us in this season to get over people because these people are not your real family. You have a galactic family, a spiritual family. You just you just came through these bloodlines as the chosen one to set the captives free and set these generations back on track. So that people can live how God intended for them to live. And not let fear and the enemy overtake them. To cause them to think that they have no help and no God. That has already made a way for them.
So people are reaping what they have sown in this season concerning you. And they wish they would not have taken these risks and these hasty actions against you because everything that they did has backfired and returned the sender. All of these hexes, witchcraft, all this negativity has backfired because you are blessed. They cannot curse what is blessed. And God is showing them how much he don't play about you. And they brought this upon themselves because they received many warnings, many messages, many signs and synchronicities. And now they got to deal with the wrath of God, which is their own seeds that they sowed. In their ground. Yes, you are getting everything that God promised you. You are not anybody's victim. Point blank period. And that is the message, star seeds. So keep following your intuition. Keep listening to what God is telling you about people. Because people, they something else. They let the devil use them. Selling their souls for money. When God is an unlimited source, he is our source. Why would he put you here in the earth and not provide for you? Make it make sense. Stop letting the devil trick you. He is an unlimited source. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. All you have to do is pray and ask God for what you want and he will bless you if it is in accordance to his will for you. Because why would he bless you with something that is out of his will that is going to take you off your path? And he'll give it to you in divine timing because he sees your timeline. So that you can stay in alignment and balance and harmony and peace. Peace of mind. Ain't nothing on this earth worth your peace of mind. Nothing. No woman, no man, no purses, no cars, no homes, no millions of dollars. None of that is worth your peace of mind. Because without a peace of mind, you can't even enjoy that stuff. So why would you put that before your relationship with God? All right, Starseeds, that is the message. I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourselves and others right. Continue to celebrate and enjoy your life and be happy and be at peace. God has not given you the spirit of fear. He has given you love, power, and a sound mind so that you can be in alignment and enjoy this life that he has given you and operate in your purpose. I love you all. God loves you. I will talk to you all soon. Peace be with you.